All right, welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're gonna discuss the utilization of time and outweighing the devil, which is the fifth principle I believe we're on now. Yeah. So with time, you have to understand that like every day is an other opportunity to, for your purpose, meaning like there's never a day where you're gonna go and say, hey, well, I don't really need today. I can just waste time. There's no such thing as a day off when you actually have a real purpose. Like you can have, you can clock into your nine to five. You can clock in and out of that. But when it comes to your purpose, what you really want to do, you need to sleep, dream, eat, shit it. Like, you have to actually want it. You got to be willing to do it. Like, today, for instance, is my day off work. I'm still doing videos. I'm not just going to say, oh, it's a holiday or, oh, it's nice outside. I'm not going to work. I'm going to work. I've got shit to do. Every day is a day to work. So when he talks about time, the same thing as environment. You control your environment, like how I stated in the last chapter. You got to control your time. And you do have a lot of say over that. Because if you control your time correctly, you can then change your environment. Let's say you're in a toxic place where like you have like a bullyish parent and you want to leave that house. You got to utilize your time to work hard, save your money, dedicate your time to having a side business so you have more than one income and then you move out. You also at the same time are building your credit and you're sacrificing your time, meaning you're sacrificing not going to parties, not going out with friends, not getting drinks every day, not smoking, not wasting your money on recreational activities that are not going to bring you any fruition. So when you use your time in that way, you actually get a lot farther in life and a lot faster too. Because now you're using your time to actually get what you want out of life. You're not just using it for whatever purpose you may have at the time. Meaning you're not using impulsive decisions to guide your life. When you have that beacon of hope, that, that faith, when you're on that faith and you're a non-drifter and you have a purpose that you're pursuing, that changes everything in your life because that's the first principle. With that first principle brings all the rest anyway. You're gonna see how they interlock. So you have to understand, you have a definite purpose. You're obviously gonna be able to then control your environment because you're gonna control the people, your network that you're around. You're gonna be able to overcome adversary because you're gonna say, well, yeah, adversity happened, yeah, 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 but I have a bigger purpose and my purpose is bigger than this problem, right? So that's the thing, guys. You have to understand that like, yes, having a purpose and having goals is hard to achieve, but it's because of that goal why you're gonna go through the mud go through the trenches and come out you come out better stronger you have a good story to tell that's just how it is utilize your time to the best of your ability you've got to be efficient with your time most people are not efficient they don't actually dedicate or delegate certain hours for certain things being like right before i did this i worked out and showered and made my video why because like i want to make sure that i have a good mind state of my memory is working well for when i make this video i want to make sure everything is like cut and dry very good to go I don't wanna be somebody that's doing a video right now and I don't feel that efficient, I feel groggy, I just came out of bed, whatever. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna make you guys appreciate these videos. I'm not gonna provide value. In order for me to provide value, I have to live what I'm talking about. I actually have to look at my life path, see what I, what I attract. I then have to come and use these psychological books like Think and Grow Rich, like Outweighing the Devil, and others that I'm gonna be bringing to you guys' attention within the next few months. And I gotta utilize these things and make it work with the time I've been allied on this planet. And I ought to do so in a state of mind where I'm grateful. I have gratitude. I'm grateful for the person that's editing my videos. I'm grateful for the people that are viewing these videos. I'm grateful for the likes. I'm grateful for having another breath of life. I'm grateful for the food, the roof over my head. These are all things that I dedicate my time to. I wake up in the morning and I literally do what they call the 10 Lotus meditation. Meaning the first 10 minutes of my morning, I just, I'm thankful I thank myself and the universe for what I've been given thus far. Then I do another 10 of what I want or what I will already have in my brain, meaning I already have it. I'm saying thank you for it because I know I'm gonna get it because I'm putting my time into getting it. After that, then I begin my day. I'll work out, take a cold shower, eat some food, get my nutrients good, get my mind right, start thinking, jot down some ideas, and then come to you guys on YouTube. Start working here. That's how my day goes, that's a day off. If I'm working, it's even busier. I'm waking up even earlier, I'm getting things done at an even faster pace and more efficiently. Today I could be a little more chill with it because it's actually a Saturday, so I don't have work. I was able to just get out of bed, take my time, do a meditation without allotting too much time where it's like, oh, I have to schedule this in here, this in here. I could just go through the process without having to rush through anything. So that's the thing. I have a bigger purpose in my mind. It doesn't just end at YouTube. I'm gonna end up doing other things with this and building off other branches of income. So it all depends what you want, guys. Just make sure you always keep your focus on that definite purpose, have a definite plan, overcome the adversities, and utilize your time wisely and control that environment by any means necessary.
right guys? This all comes down to the same exact principles. They all lead to each other. Master yourself was the second one. Without self-mastery, none of the other stuff's gonna happen anyways. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. We'll be back tomorrow again with the next principle. Like, subscribe, holla at me. Thank you.